Hello. As many of you know, I am Lunge the Dinosaur. I was formerly a candidate for president in 2012. I know it's been quite a while since we've talked, and I apologize for that. However, I have been so distressed by the state of our nation that I found it necessary to retreat back to the land of my origins. I returned to the deep cave from which I was resurrected after the extinction of my kind. There, I thought long and hard about the terrible state of our world and of the dire urgency that we still have before us to save the future. The Let Us Not Go Extinct Party still has not seen any progress toward ending the ecological suicide of planet Earth in a mere century. As a dinosaur, I've seen many, many centuries, and I know that they may seem to the human being to be plenty of time to take care of the necessity to change our world to suit a new emerging consciousness in its infancy since the 1960s. The coup d'etat of November 22, 1963, the assassination of John F. Kennedy, signaled the birthing planes and terrible convulsions and terror of that terrible and difficult birth of a new humanity capable of restoring the natural balance of the ecology of the planet through refining their processes and industries to harmonize with nature and to renounce competition between nations and institute a more compassionate humanity through cooperation and appreciation of the various cultures and folkways, religious philosophies and beliefs of different cultures. This was begun, most notably, by a great man of that era and his artistic co-creator John Lennon and Yoko Ono. I honor them not because they were perfect human beings, but because they overcame their human limitations of their time to express the axiom, one world, one people. This is not to be confused with the ultimate goal of corporate fascism to control the world economically and socially and to design a world in which the few elites can rule over the impoverished masses who exist solely as lab wage slaves for the corporate elite. The one world, one people of the future is a global community that believes in equality and freedom as the basis of law and love as the function of human life and purpose of human life. The increase of love and charity and goodness and kindness are the important goals of life, not the acquisition of wealth or power. As we've seen, the obsolete consciousness of the power-mad colonial era is still in full evidence in 2016. Consider Donald Trump 
as the epitome of the alpha male North American consciousness that has ruled the world since the very beginnings of the 20th century. The institution of central banks and financiers and the wars that they propagate in order to continue their stranglehold of obscene wealth through perpetual war for profit and the other wars that they have on the poor, on women, on minorities, on the great masses that they fear will one day rise up against their hedonism, their excessive and obscene self-preoccupation, and their unending avarice, enslaved by obsolete, mythically retarded concepts, and strangled by a status quo that serves only a handful of people at the expense of the rest of the planet and the future of humanity must end now. There can be no compromise with evil. We must find a way to save the future. And more importantly, perhaps even than that, to safeguard the best of humanity against those that would destroy the innocent and the sweet and the true and turn all of the pleasures of the earth into drudgery for the masses and obscene, excessive pleasure for the handful of the few who rule us through the power of financial extortion. The solution is to recognize that this cannot continue and that here, now, is the time to stand up against this corporate fascist police state. It is time to stand up against those politicians who have enabled the corporate state to destroy the quality of life of every person on the planet. The fascists that have ruled our world for 2,000 years since the Roman Empire invented military conquest and empire must be branded. These power mad individuals, leaders of countries, politicians of all stripes, must be branded for what they are. Stooges for the corporations run by a few obscenely wealthy families. The symptoms of this oligarchy are many. Ignorance, racism, elitism, and all stripes must be branded. The designed anti-intellectualism, the proliferation of dangerous Deadly substances such as alcohol, nicotine, heroin, and cocaine should be branded for the poisons that they are. And organic substances such as have minimal harmful effects such as caffeine, marijuana, or organic psychoactive substances such as psilocybin or peyote should be recognized for what they are as part of our spiritual and recreational social obligation to practice kindness and courtesy and generosity and hospitality. These are the things that are sacred and should not be impringed on 
by any institution or government policy. Furthermore, the use of mythic identification with ancient cultures is mythic retardation, and we should begin to worship the universe as it is. And this does include the concept of human existence as a multi-dimensional existence. Fear of death, scarcity, aging, change, transformation is the anti-human ignorance that has chained us to slavery and bigotry. All these many centuries. Now is the time to awaken to a greater humanity. Love one another. Practice kindness as your best virtue and courtesy as your best art. Restrain your egocentric nature. Do not accept the lowest demons of our humanity and enhance and support the higher vibrations of our angelic nature. Realize that we generate our future from our thoughts and that we as physical beings also help to generate the psychic energy that allows us to exist as non-corporeal, purely psychic beings. That this is all a great co-creation and cooperative, and that we should mirror those values in our body politic and in all of our social institutions. In our military, use of the military as a tool of empire to subjugate other countries of the world, and war as a political policy and violence in all its forms should be discredited. And the false self syndrome created by the false philosophies of the ancient world are a mental illness that is destroying us with violence and selfishness and greed. Until we reach down to these deep roots of the problems in our psyche, we cannot begin to create a better world than this terrible mass of murder and lies that are the foundation of our modern nations. These lies and this murder stains our humanity and retards the progression of our society. I implore you to rise up with love and compassion and intelligence and confront these terrible beasts of oligarchy and fascism in any way that you can. I am Lunge the Dinosaur. And I stand by these beliefs. I do not ask that you agree wholeheartedly with everything that I have said, but I do ask you to consider that we must make changes to save the future. Let us not go extinct. Thank you.